Hi, this is Catherine Roseanne with Working Geek here at Spiel 2016. I'm sitting here with Martin Loy from Keep Exploring Games, and he's here to talk about scuba. So, tell me about this game. Yeah, well... Looks like we're diving deep in the ocean. Yeah, we are. We are in... Uh, scuba is a game for two to four players. And um, at the beginning of the game, everybody starts here at the diving boat. And we have meeples with custom masks and Oh, circles. that is so cute. <laughs> and during the game, you get to move four spaces per turn. Every tile on the board, you can just flip it over. So, for instance, here you have a fish. And that's, that's another fish. And this is randomly selected by the beginning of the game. Uh, for instance, here you find nothing. And that's question marks as well. Turtle. And there's also more tiles in the game than on the board. So you never know what to find. And there's a question mark. So for a question mark, let's just say, um, oh, for instance, this one. That's a nice one. Um, it just um, tells you what happens. It's completely random what can happen, but it's always something connected to scuba diving because I'm a dive master myself. That's how I designed the game. Ah. Um, so in this case, you get minus one victory point. Uh, in the case of a fish, you will look into the correct deck. So this is a red fish. So you will look into the red deck, and for that fish, you'll uh, you find it, and you'll take the card. And that card will be worth one point to the end of the game. All right. Um, but other players can also get to see the card because these tiles they stay on the board. So let's say Red uh, just went there, and then he'll place dust markers on the board. So let's just say he went somewhere like that. Now, if the if other players want to come here, right now they cannot see the fish there because of the dust markers. Because this guy just kicked up dust all, the, all over the place. So it's making it all foggy in the water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's just kind of the screw you principle of the game. So the other players now just have to wait until the dust settles, because now if the red player is, uh, is here now, in his next turn he will remove his cubes and place them wherever he goes next. So, for instance, there. And now the blue and the other players can see it. So. Can go and, and, and pick up the points as well. Yeah. And uh, in, the end of, uh, in the end of everybody's turn, you have to use air. Like, if you like diving terms, you start with 200 bars of air, or 3000 PSI in American standards. Or if you're, if you're not into diving, you can just use like 20 units of air. It's just easier. Um, the deeper you go, the more air you use. Like the red, the red one now has to use one unit of air. But for instance, if you are uh, at uh, 35 to 40 meters or 105 to 120 feet, you have to use four units of air. And at the end of each turn, you just deduct it from your uh, dial here. And you have to make sure that you have enough air to get back up again. Exactly. This is not like you throw a dice and you, you die because you, 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 throw a, you throw a one or something. But um, you do have to get back to the boat before your air runs out. Does that anything happen if you don't manage to do that? Do you get yeah. penalty points or do well, you... Well, you just drown and you, you just drown. <laughs> so technically there's player el elimination in this game, but only if you just plan wrong. Because you can always look in the board and you see how much air everything costs. So it's, it's not random. How many rounds is the game over? Well, game that also over? depends on the players, because you have 20 units of air. So a player could say, I'm, I'm going to just stay here for 20 turns, or I'm going to go really deep, and then he, he only has air for like six, seven turns. So players can just decide that for their own, really. And then each turn is four moves and... Uh, yeah, and also a current card. And there's different current cards in the deck. Which may drift you in a certain direction, is that...? Yeah, so for instance, this card here. It just says that all red fishes do not move, the yellow ones move to, to the side, which is also a tricky part. For instance, uh, let, me, let me find a yellow fish here. here. Let's just say this fish, or a piece of coral in this case, is now on the edge, and uh, the dust is still here from the red player. And the yellow player wants to see this piece of coral, and he is here somewhere. So right now he has to wait for the, um, for the red cubes to disappear. So in his next turn he'll just, I don't know, go up or something. And then he wants to see it, but first he has to draw a current card. Uh, let's say it's this current card here um, that says, oh, yellow fish, move one to the right. So in that case, this piece of coral moves off the board and goes back into the box. And so we won't have a chance to see it. Yeah. So the pieces will be disappearing off of the board yeah. as, the, as the game goes along. Yeah, by the end of the game, it's pretty much an empty board, more or less. Not, not entirely. There, there's never enough time for people to, say, to see everything. And uh, one reason why somebody really wants to see that piece of coral is because of the set collection element in the game. All right. So this uh, branching face punch here has connections with uh, two other pieces of coral, which and are. If you're able to get the other pieces as well, then you will get bonus points for a set. Yeah, exactly. 
yeah, there's different sets with three and with two, and um, if you collect a complete, complete set, you get bonus points. So that's why some people really want to see that piece of coral. Specifically, so. Yeah, and if you're playing like with families, people just enjoy themselves and they, they don't uh, care about the dust, dust too much. But uh, if you play with gamers you know, that are get m b bit more competitive, then the dust can really cause a lot of hindrance. Exactly. Interesting. Especially with the four players that can, can really, uh, yeah, can really get um, annoyed at each other. Thank yeah. you so much. You're welcome. That is Scuba from Keep Exploring Games.